Good morning. I was, was going to say it too. I was like, are we going to do it at the same time? I don't know. Good morning. Bryce, why are you drooling? That's baby. Oh, blame it on your dog. Huh? He's, he's licking it. That's good of yours. That's your drool. Uh, Is there room for me? Bryce needs a bigger bed. There's barely room for me and the dog. It's, it's going to break. I what know. do you think you're doing, Babish? What are you doing? Mr. Bananas and Snuffy. It's pretty crowded. That's gross, baby. Well, hello there, clan, and welcome to Wednesday. Kids are off to school. Tiff and I are just hanging out for the day. She already went to the gym, vacuumed, showered, got a lot, a lot accomplished. So far, all I've done is respond to email and edit the vlog. I was gonna stream, I was super pumped after yesterday's stream. I wanted to stream again today. Um, uh, Arms Day happened in Destiny today. It was, uh, I was like ready to pump and go. And then I realized there's an Apple event going on today at the exact same time as Arms Day. And I was like, I'm not, gonna, not even gonna joke, guys. I actually had that moment of like, what's more important to me? <laughs> Hearing about all the Apple announcements, or playing Destiny for, and Arms Day for the very first time and streaming it. I'm not ashamed to say that Apple event won because I'm a hardcore Apple fan. My, all my devices are Apple for the most part. And this is gonna be the one where the new iPhone was announced. Uh, there's been rumors of a new iPad, new Apple Watch, and a new Apple TV as well. So this seems to be like a really big event, a big, big event. So I was like, all right, I can play Destiny later. The Apple event goes on live. Obviously, I want to hear about the announcements live, so that's what I ended up doing. But while I was doing that, Tiffany made this lunch, and she actually brought it down here so I could still watch the event that's going on right now still while we eat this fabulous lunch. It smells amazing. We got some two different kinds of pizza. We got a salad. Oh, they're flatbread pizzas. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. So yeah, Apple event's going on. They just announced the new Apple TV. They're playing games on the Apple TV, which is all new. You can't do that now with the, uh, with the current ones. All right, you guys, so new iPhones, iPhone 6S and 6S Plus to wrap up the whole Apple event. Uh, traditional uh, iPhone, Apple, you know, same case, same looking phone, just new features. And the big new feature with the new iPhones is the uh, 3D touch. Um, basically you push down on something and it gives you a little menu. It's like right click options. Very cool option, very cool features. Um, and live photos, which are really cool. Like you take a photo and it takes a little like five second video behind it. Um, not something new in the world, but something new to the iPhone and it does it automatically. You don't have to think about it. They're just there. Um, so just the subtle, subtle things. I'm sure you guys are asking what of all the products Apple announced today am I getting? Um, I'm definitely getting a new iPhone 6S Plus because I want the Plus edition. I regret not getting the Plus with the 6. So I'm definitely going to be getting that. Um, don't need a new watch. I just got my watch recently. I'm, I'm loving it. The new software update will do big, big things for me. Um, I wasn't really that, like, looking forward to the Apple TV thing because I don't really watch TV. I mean, you guys know I don't watch TV ever at all. I pretty much play video games, that's my hobby, that's my pastime. I do like movies though, I do like movies. But the new Apple TV is pretty awesome. The innovation, the things you can do with it, it might bring me back to the living room, it might bring me back to TV and movies again, I don't know. Um, definitely not getting an iPad Pro, I don't have a need, I don't use my iPad enough to warrant getting a bigger, better one. Um, if they had announced maybe an iPad Air 3, maybe I'd just do an upgrade because it's two years old, but at this point, I'm basically just gonna keep my iPad and, and, and rock that. So, Sierra and me just got back from school, and first thing that I saw on the table was my new Cardinals football. Wait, let me spin it. And my mommy gave it to me for when we go tailgating for a football, or I could practice with it for football. So, so thank you. What do you say? Thank you. Big kiss. Whoa, that's scary looking. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They're scared of you. So Bryce has been doing so well on his spelling test. test. Pretty much every week you've been getting every single one, right? 100%. Yeah, so this week his teacher gave him a harder list. So, oh, get down, baby. Show them my first list. This would be this week's words normally. It's not a little hard. But he would do so oh, well on I... those. Now she gave him this list. So this is what he's been working on this week. So what do you think? Definitely harder, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's test you. He's been practicing basically to, uh, yesterday and today. So two days. 
uh, working on these harder words. So I've we're got gonna, some. We're, we'll pick a couple and see how he does. Unable. U N A B L E. Good job. Afternoon. A F T E R N O O N. Good job. Okay, now the one that he's been struggling on the most is encourage. You ready? Uh -huh. Think about it. Don't just spit it out. Think about it. E N C O U R A G. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my first. That's the first time you got the entire thing right. Yeah, because like in the last time I did inside my room, uh -huh. I I did I N. Yeah. Good job. See, you got it. All it takes is a little practice. You're smart, dude. What's for dinner? Lasagna. And mommy said that one side is gonna be like with the meat and one side is gonna be with all the vegetables. Meat lasagna, veggie and, lasagna. Yeah. Stuff. And, the meat. and you're gonna be my helper? Yep. Hopefully daddy's gonna help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smells good? No. No? <laughs> so much. So the girls already cut the vegetables up, now they're pulling out the cheese and the noodles to make the ricotta cheese mush, right? Yep. So how many kinds of different cheese are in there, Sierra? There's ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and parmesan. Mmm. Cheesy. Can I put eggs in there? Mm-hmm. Oh. Is that how lasagna always is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You've never watched your mom make lasagna? I don't guess not. <laughs> and the last ingredient going into the cheese mixture is... Basil. Oh. Is that looking better, Sierra? Mm -hmm. More like cottage cheese. Co that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I like thought, chunky cheese? That's what I thought ricotta cheese looked like. And I saw it and it just looked, it was like jello. It just plopped on. It was in like the shape of a bowl. <laughs> yeah. How the veggies looking? I think they're done. Overcooked? No, 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 they're not overcooked, but they'll, they'll be perfect when you put them in the sauce and they cook with the yeah. lasagna. Like they're, I think they're like perfect right now just for steamed veggies. They'll get a little mushier, um, or get, they'll get a little mushy when you cook them with the lasagna. It smells really good, actually. Mm. Okay, so we ended up deciding not to do half veggie, half meat. We just dumped all the, the brown turkey meat in with the veggies. And then Sierra's going to add the spaghetti sauce. Can I do the whole thing? The whole thing. A lot of spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's splashing all over. <laughs> Stir it good. Okay, so we put some of the sauce veggie meat mixture on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to take four of the um, noodles and you can just kind of lay them. So I bought the oven ready um, noodles, which they came out with, I don't know. They haven't always had these, but you don't want to boil them, which speeds up the process of making lasagna. Because normally, Sierra, you'd have to boil those like spaghetti mm -hmm. and cook them first, and then do all your layering. Do they Our, do that with spaghetti noodles? Actually, they do. I just saw those. They have those too. Oh, cool. So next time yeah. you make spaghetti, it won't take as long. Yeah. I think you just add them to the sauce or something. I don't know. Okay, so our pan's a little bit bigger than a 9 by 13. So, you know, let's just, we'll just kind of do it in the middle here. So first we put the spread, then right. the noodles, now we have to put the cheese. Half of the cheese mixture, and you're going to spread it on the noodles. Looks like mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay, so we're basically just uh, layering it now. We're going to um, put some more of the sauce mixture, ooh, without making a mess, over the cheese. And then we just kind of spread it over the cheese. And then what do you think is going to be next here? Uh, noodles. Yep. So four more noodles. Is that second layer? Mm hmm Second layer of cheese. We've already done the second layer of noodles. And then, wait, no, we used all the... Wait, did we use all that? I, mean, nope. I was going to guess we put that on top of this now, and that would be the top layer. So that, that's the last of the cheese. We divided that two times, basically. So now we're going to put... More of the... Not all of the sauce. Like half of the sauce on top and then the last row noodles and then just sauce on the noodles and then top it with more just shredded cheese. 
It's gonna be very tall. Uh huh. We'll have leftovers. All right, last layer of noodles there. We kind of added some extra. Just yeah. Because Sierra there's, wanted more noodles. There's five down and then one across right yeah, there. Yeah, we probably could have done that in the other layers too, but oh well. This, if we don't have enough sauce, I do have some more in my jar there. We think it looks a little too dry. We have to add or sprinkle some more of the mozzarella and Parmesan cheese on. Yep. So this is the Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle it all over. And then it'll like melt and we'll have cheese on the top. And then you're going to use the rest of the mozzarella there? Mm-hmm. I said lots of mozzarella. Alrighty, here's the final. Before it's cooked lasagna, now we're going to double wrap it tightly with foil and then put it in the oven for about an hour. All right. Dollar store foils. There we go. In the oven it goes. It's a yucky fruity color. In the oven it goes. And just have this like good vibe like situation going on. Back, baby. Back. Baby, it's not for you. Go. Get back. Go. Ooh, that looks hot. I can feel it from over here. I'm like way back here. And uh, I can feel it as soon as she opened it. We have to wait an hour though. Yeah. And it's 6 o'clock. So I'll be eating dinner at like 7. You are so excited. <laughs> I'm picking at it. I'm for you guys. I don't know. It did turn out good. It looks really, really good. We're just waiting for Bryce to come back from Braden's house. Before we cut into it and start getting, I guess you can start cutting it though. Start cooling Ooh. it off. Well, I wanted to show the finished product. Oh, there's, okay, I'm sorry, sorry. There's the finished product, guys. It looks amazing. Before we destroy it. It smells amazing. All right, go ahead and destroy it. Okay. Destroy your beauty. I have to say, Mom, Mommy and Sierra did a fabulous job on this lasagna. It's very, very good. It's still really hot. I'm trying to like blow on it and take bites because I'm so hungry. But the vegetables are like kind of crispy, crunchy. Sauce is flavorful. Cheese, very cheesy. Good job, Chica. Helping Mommy out. Mm -hmm. Was it a special recipe or just something on the box or what? Yeah, well, I always mix it up. The box and I have vegetables in it. Yeah. So it's just your own recipe. It's a <laughs> Tiffany original. You should make your own cooking channel. Everyone says it. Everyone says it. Oh, I'm supposed to tell you. Someone in the stream today said, tell Tiffany she's an awesome cook. <laughs> tell Bryce he's awesome. Tell Sierra I want to date her. <laughs> <laughs> so what you think of dinner, dude? It was good. It's good, huh? Girls did a good job. Mm -hmm. Mommy and Sierra made the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. And then we have leftovers for tomorrow. Yeah. A lot. A lot, I know, we made a lot. Alright man, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Well guys, I hope you had a great day. We did. Great dinner. And tomorrow's another day, so we'll see you then. Tiff and I are out and about, running around. We may or may not be taking the trailer back to the shop because all the parts are in. Uh, I just don't know if we're going to do that tomorrow together or if she's going to make me do it by myself. Uh, but in any case, we will be out and out of the house, running around. So stay tuned, check back tomorrow for that, and vlog on.